Growing and processing the food we eat is a thirsty business, consuming more than 70% of the world's fresh water resources. At the same time, climate change and other factors are placing an unprecedented strain on increasingly limited water supplies, threatening the profitability and future growth of the $5 trillion global food industry. Food companies are particularly vulnerable to this crisis and can play a critical role in safeguarding the world's freshwater resources. That's why Ceres created Feeding Ourselves Thirsty, a benchmarking report and investor tool that analyzes water risk management at the largest food companies and tracks their progress over time. For the global food sector, water security is much more than an environmental concern. It's a financial imperative. 77% of the companies evaluated in the report have cited water as a risk in their annual financial statements. Despite the food sector's growing awareness of water risks, major food companies are still not prepared for a water-stressed world. The meat industry is particularly vulnerable to water risks, but has done little to ensure resilient supply chains. In the spring of 2019, for example, Severe flooding in the Mississippi River Basin inflicted billions of dollars in damages on farmers, agribusinesses, and meat companies such as Tyson Foods and Sanderson Farms. Food companies must scale action to protect and conserve water in order to mitigate these types of risks and ensure long-term profitability in our rapidly warming world. Fortunately, there are steps companies and their investors can take to ensure a more water-secure future. Feeding Ourselves Thirsty provides investors with guidance and relevant data for evaluating the water risk management of publicly held companies in the agricultural products, beverage, meat, and packaged food industries. There are steps investors can take to better manage water risks in their portfolios, including soliciting improved disclosure from companies, integrating companies' risk exposure and management responses into their valuations, and engaging directly with company management. For questions and more information on how the food sector can improve water risk management, check out the Feeding Ourselves Thirsty report, feedingourselvesthirsty.series.org.